Hello! The goal of this video is to present you how to visualize the hyperparameters of a model when the involved predictor has more than two of them. We can already encounter one example of such cases in the lecture notes where we used a randomized search for finding the best uh, hyperparameters of a histogram gradient boosting classifier that was trained on top of the adult census dataset. And in that case, we only used a few iterations, but in practice, uh, you would have to run a large number of iterations to try different uh, combinations of hyperparameters. In this case, we will load a pre-computed data set containing the results of uh, running the model and validating it with 200 iterations. And uh, we can take a look at the head of this data set and realize that we are, we are tuning uh, five different hyperparameters and all of them are preceded by this double underscore which comes from the fact that we used a pipeline. So one thing uh, that may come to our minds is to define this function that will help us uh, remove the prefixes of the hyperparameters and then we'll have a second look at the, at the dataset with this uh, cleaner version of the column names and now we can really see which uh, hyperparameters we are tuning. For instance, the maximal number of beans, the maximal number of leaves per each node. In this data set, you can also see the score for each one of the splits in the cross validation. And also you can see the mean test score, the standard deviation and this ranking position of how good or bad is in this ranking uh, this particular combination of parameters. So we can think of uh, possible ways to visualize these scores and one of the possibilities is uh, having this kind of uh, scatter plot uh, kind of heat map that will encode the mean test score in colors for each combination of learning rate and maximal number of leaves and uh, here we can notice that there is a band between 10 to the minus 2 and 10 to the 0 in learning rate and uh, they will lead us to the best possible scores um, but the problem with this uh, visualization is that it's a two-dimensional projection of a multi-dimensional hyperparameter space so we don't really have control on how uh, the other parameters parameters uh, influence or not these different points. So maybe we can think of a more clever way to visualize the results. And one option is to use the so-called parallel coordinate plot, which also encodes uh, with colors the mean test score. But also you can click on any of the axes and if you click and hold, you can select a range of uh, scores, for instance, here and ask yourself which combination of hyperparameters will lead me to this uh, bad score. But you can also click and drag the selection and ask yourself the same, like uh, what are the combinations leading to a medium score? Or you can click on the edge of the selection and broaden it or shrink it and drag it. Uh, and if you click again on the selection, you can get rid of it. And maybe you can ask yourself uh, the, the, the inverse problem, like uh, what will happen if I select, for instance, this range of uh, learning rate between 10 to the 0 and 10 to the minus 2. And um, it will always translate to a good score. But what happens if I also choose a, a small number of maximal beans? this will actually prevent our model to reach uh, the highest scores. So by doing so, you can uh, have an idea of how different uh, parameters uh, interact between each other. So this is a really useful plot and I hope it will be useful for you as well. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.